Hi, this is Patrick Reagan. I'm an ultra runner from the United States of America, located in Savannah, Georgia, which is on the eastern seaboard. So right now I'm at home in Savannah, Georgia in our living room with all of our pets. We have three dogs and two cats. Squeaks. Squeaks, sit. My favorite place right now at home is our bright, vibrant living room, which I'm in now. Um, we have a lot of artwork uh, up here on the walls. Um, it's also our, our library too, so we have a lot of really great science fiction and fantasy books. Um, I spend a lot of my time coaching in this room and also doing you know, my strength training, um, stretching after runs, so on and so forth. Most of my time at home right now is spent uh, from coaching behind my computer, reading science uh, fiction and fantasy books. Um, we spend a lot of time playing board games in our household. So that, that's what we're doing to kind of weather the storm here. My recommendation for you, um, especially if you're now working from home, is to develop a time of the day at which you can do your consistent uh, training that you had in mind for the build to your your next race. Maybe you're not gonna be able to do your next race, but it would be really nice for you, like I'm picking a couple attempts for myself, FKTs or longer routes within my training that will substitute a few of the races that I had planned for the build into Western States. So even if you can't maintain your usual training groups or get to your usual gym, my vision today is to show you a routine that can help you with your strength training and to make a few suggestions of which you set aside some time in your regular everyday life to do that specific training the same time each day. I'm gonna show you a routine today that I perform two to three times a week. It requires only a few items, uh, ankle weights, this is about uh, two kilos, 2.2, 2.3 kilos, and a eight to uh, 14, 15 kilo weight vest, depending on your strength. The routine's quite simple. I do three sets of this. Each routine has uh, five exercises, um, followed by three exercises with the ankle weights. The first thing I do with the 20 pound weight vest is 12 push-ups. I then go to step ups. So step ups, opposite leg back down. Once you do 10 per leg of that, I shift to dips. If you need a little more resistance, you can add the ankle weights on your lap. I then shift to side lunges. So these are all really great exercises for working on the accessory muscles that you're gonna use during your time on the trail. Um, muscles you would use for descent or you know, going through switchbacks, rolling switchbacks. The step ups are also really great for um, you know, getting in some motions that are very similar to power hiking or uphill running. I do 12 to 15 of these per leg. And I, I always add a little bit more weight at the end of the routine once I've done 12 to 15 of those per leg with the ankle weights on my shoulders and I do some air squats. So with an air squat, you want a lot of the weight um, back on the heels. And I descend with that nice like flat back. A little easier form wise, if you don't have the weight, you can let your arms flow in front of you there. Easier to keep the flat back, easier to keep the knee once again behind the toe. With the ankle weights, I put both on. They're in my routine at the same time. And these are just very mild extensions back, activating the glute muscles. Nice straight leg there, nice bent knee in the opposite. Doing about 15 repetitions of this exercise. So you're doing 15 for each leg. I'm working on my abductors here. Going out as slow as I'm coming back in. 15 repetitions here. 
And then 15 repetitions of a, of a high knee exercise. Nice and slow down. Activate up, nice and slow down. About the same speed each direction. So with the weight vest, I recommend you perform the weight vest section three times with twice with the ankle weights in between. My favorite at the moment is still Dune by Frank Herbert. Uh, I really like the first three books. There are six books in the series, but I definitely recommend you read the first three. Another great film that has also been made into a TV series that my wife and I are watching right now is called The Expanse. I've read the first seven books and you know they've been thrilling from the first to the last. So if you get a chance, check out the first book, which is called Leviathan Wakes by James S.A. Curry. Thank you.